Last week on Spoon Drifters, we uncovered the plumbing that was in the floor, so we decided to replace all of it with PEX. This meant cutting more holes in the floor, and while we were at it, we decided to test the refrigerator and figure out the drain that went to it. We're a family of six who sold our house, bought a boat, and now we're getting ready to sail around the world. Welcome to our channel. Some of you asked why we weren't working on the batteries last week. Well, we were waiting for this package. Well? Mail! Mail! Can you read that? We have buckles. Snap buckles. And webbing. So the webbing is for the buckles, obviously. And the idea is we're going to use these to strap down the batteries. These buckles from Sailrite, they're an uh, inch and a half wide, and they're rated at 290 pounds per buckle. So the batteries weigh 90 pounds a piece. I figured that was probably sufficient. So we're over here today to be able to measure how long our fabric needs to be so we can, because we've got to sew one side on and then the other side can thread through. So we're going to have to sew a side onto this with our sail right sewing machine. <laughs> and then we'll hook them in, hook the batteries in place. Our sailboats are designed to be able to go upside down in the worst case scenario and they will right themselves back up again. If the event that you're even knocked over sideways, even almost 90 degrees, we want the batteries to stay where they're put. That's why we're going to strap these in so they can't move. I think the idea is, is we want this strap to be somewhere in here. And we can't have a strap going across the vent. So that's why they're going to be offset. As you'll notice, this hole is offset. La la, look what we have. This is my tool. Todd gets all kinds of tools. This one's for me. Hey, look, there's a setup guide. Uh, <laughs> Which one is a bench? Alright. Look at the little box, Abigail. Um, now where did I go? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Kind of heavy. Yeah, all you do is tilt it backwards. I know. How come it's greasy? So you just spray this sucker down with WD-40 on a regular well, you don't basis. Want it to. It's dripping grease. Right. Hey, we gotta figure out why there's grease all over it. I just told you. I, I I'm not convinced that that's right. He might be wrong. I can't wait till that video comes out. <laughs> Because you, you, you have to put in that I actually was <laughs> right. right. <laughs> All right. Is this the balance wheel? The belt that connects the eye with pull. This was tuned by Matt. Thanks, Matt. So this is an example of what it can do in these different thicknesses. Mm -hmm. And then this is super thick. But it's still attached, so. Verified yeah. for your. Hey, mom, I'm uh, shipping Liberty. You're shipping Liberty. Where are you shipping Liberty to? Costco. Costco. Three more dirty clothes. Look at that. It's magnetic. You can stick it wherever you want. Let it go. No, I'm no. shipping you. No, no, don't uh, want don't help. You can do that yourself. You don't need to help me, Dad. No. I think we should just put her in the truck. Yeah! Take her over to the garbage can? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Where are we going? Um, over there. Yeah. 
come on, Lon. Are you gonna get out now? What? No, she's waiting now? till Ella comes. I guess I'm waiting. I think that it's too hot out here for you to wait in that box. We can put her in the shade. <laughs> I don't think that that's a good thing. No. Can you get out? No. I'm gonna stay in here, Mommy. You can't. It's too hot, sweetie. Not tonight. I'm gonna stay in here. No. You will get a heat stroke. Oh, you have crackers and water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and raisins. Take this. <laughs> and a pillow. I like it in here. It's my new home. And you forgot the toilet paper. Daddy! <laughs> Forward reverse. You're actually reading instructions? <laughs> Just making sure it's like my sewing machine at home. Is it? <laughs> it looks to be. It's a little bit more manual than like, yeah, like with screws and stuff to instead of buttons and levers, but yeah, it appears to be basically the same as my sewing machine at home, which I didn't bring with me. Just heavier duty. Yeah. It's not working. I mean, I just don't understand how it can come unthreaded. Man's job is playing with fire. Not right to left. Alright, let's try this again. Guess reading instructions is helpful, huh? <laughs> I gotta hurt my thumb. Everything else is right to left. Why would the needle be left to right? Where? There. It's like bruised or Did that help? No. Because <laughs> I'm not too. And it actually is sore. Should work for a full pull, right? <gasps> Ow! You should have told me it was hot! Well, how'd you think I made the hole? With a, <laughs> a solder hand there? Oh no! Now I have a thumb and a finger that's sore! Is that better too? <laughs> hey! We have a clip. Okay, so the next one getting used to this machine took some time. I kept going for the presser foot on the back instead of the top. One of the advantages of buying a label maker is you can label them. Ask <laughs> any mom out there, that doesn't mean crap to her kids. <laughs> Do you remember when I bought your mother that padlock that went on her scissors? Right. And she was like, these lasted me for years because the boys couldn't go open it and use them. Are you just recording all of this? Yeah. You can edit it later. Hours and hours and hours of editing. It's time. It's time to put these batteries in. Let's see what we've got going on. Okay, I finished sewing all these together. These are the ones with buckles, those are the other ends. Now it's time to install them in the boat. And we brought all the batteries over, huh, Derek? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not up here yet. They're still down in the truck. We got them halfway. But by the end of today, the batteries will be installed in the boat. Okay. They won't be wired. They won't be wired, but they will be buckled into the boat. How we go? Why is she has to vacuum around and she's, she wants to. Is she cool dancing? Yeah. <laughs> Another washer. And then, put this on. Okay, hold it up. It's okay. We try to keep the kids involved and engaged in what's going on, but they kind of need to entertain what themselves sometimes. So, Liberty, tell them what we're doing. 
We're playing Fire's Lava and look at the ground. And we're pretending this ginormous pit is lava. lava. It's slippery. Let me hold. No, it's fine. It's slippery. I'm gonna put if your boat's ever like this, be careful. When you tore up, whenever you tear apart your boat right here, make sure you don't fall and hurt yourself. How's it coming? Putting on buckles. Buckle, buckle. Who's got the buckle? Who's got the buckle? Trying to figure out the right way to do it. There we go. I believe they go this way. Once the buckles are on, we can put in the batteries. There we go. So, how much do these batteries weigh? Ninety pounds a piece. And I'm just tuckered out right now because what I was I, I did about three thousand curls with them earlier this morning. I'm a little tired by now. <laughs> no, but what did you just do? You just carried eight of these suckers up the ladder. <laughs> and down a ladder. Oh, man. Now, I did help. I am not physically strong enough to carry them up the ladder. But when I got to the top of the ladder, I grabbed it and slid it to the top of the next ladder he had to come down. And when he got to the bottom of that ladder, I took it and I put it on the rolling thingy so that we could push it over closer to where they're going. So I did help. You did a good job too. Because <laughs> I didn't have to do that part. The other key is leave more than four inches here. We cut it a little tight. Where? Uh, as a tail to hang on to to tighten these up, you know. If I could have wrapped it around my hand, I could have got a better pull on it. Well, we know next time. Hopefully there's no next time. <laughs> well, and the other thing that we could have done was uh, we could have sewed it over into a loop. We could have put a little rod through and pulled, and that would have helped too. But either way, they're good. They're not going anywhere, I hope. All right, so. Four more. <sighs> Tell us about that. What is that? Well, that's a piece of foam because this wall is part of the diesel tank. It actually curves like this. And so the batteries will rock a little bit. So I want to keep them down on the bottom so they'll pop off my support board. So this fairly rigid foam is just going to cushion the top side and help keep them in place and let them ride better. And then we're using it between each of the middle ones, right? Yeah, to keep them from sliding too close together, we want an airspace between them. About three quarters of an inch is what we figured. Did I hear you mumble something that I smelled or something? Or you smelled some? I don't know. <laughs> you do smell! It smells like good hard work! Uh, for some reason, though, that that good hard work smell doesn't go over well when I get home. I don't know why. <sighs> Woohoo! Oh dear, we did it! You did it! You did it too. There's a lot of batteries. So now we can at least measure wiring, see how much wiring I need to buy to try to wire these all together. Yahoo, huh? Tune in next week when we start to put the floor back together, figure out how to attach this tank to the floor to keep everything from moving, and then put the furniture back together.